That's Garth Tanner stopped. Garth Tanner stopped and looks like a lot of damage. Oh, yeah. A lot of damage, massive damage. And we'll have a look at this. This is Garth Tanner trying to get by the GRM car. Won't turn and straight in. Oh, that has made very heavy contact. And that would hurt. That one would physically hurt. Have a look, this is on board. Oh, that is a big hit. Garth Tanner on relatively cold tyres. And the reason that happens is you see a car in pit lane coming out, you need to be super deep under brakes to get across the front. Now watch Garth in this. Look at the Look movement head. in the driver. Wow, that's taken an almighty chunk out of that tall HRT Commodore. So seventh position in oh, the wall. Oh, cleans in the wall in the Bobolo car. And do they all manage to scramble around? That's the question. Massive damage. This will trigger a safety car. Focus on the Bottolo car. And uh, Magnuson got him. Yeah, so car 39, super cheap auto entry. Magnuson sharing with Russell Ingle. He's in the GM Corvette program in the US. Yeah, so Magnuson went across the chicane. Oh. <laughs> How close was that for Darren Turner? He, he did pick up a little bit of damage as he scuffed across the nose of that car. But that's given the barrier a big whack down there as well. And the high drama here. Car 22, Greg Murphy, for the second event in a row, has huge damage. And Murphy reported back that he was just drilled from behind and sent into the fence. So that's car three in front, the high flex car. Watch this, unloaded at high speed. Look at the damage already to car number one, the Red Bull racer is all bashed in and then the impact of Murphs is enough to throw that car, almost a tonne and a half of V8 supercar back out onto the circuit after it hit the wall. Lucky Greg let go of the steering wheel there, he would have broken his wrist. Oh, and a big crash for Will Brown. Whoa, 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 everybody. They've got the yellows out, here we go. It's gonna hit. There you go, that was going to be close, but the yellows, I don't know whether they were out before the chicane. You could see them on the way out, but it's blind. Yeah, on with you, David. Here's what happens, so let's understand. Oh, that is impact with the inside wall for Will Brown. He's made heavy contact the outside wall. These are the risks. Now, Steve Owen, unfortunately, in Richie Stanaway's car, makes the wrong decision. He decides to go for a gap, and it was only seven-eighths of a car wide. Fuck the front left out of that car. Here's Will. Watch it. Listen. And then watch for Steve Owen at the back of this queue. Looking, oh, he knew. He was looking. How were Will's eyes there? He knew what was going on. There you go. He's going to be another shot. Have a look down to your right. Bang. So the light rail people that were transporting themselves down towards the hub of service paradise, they would have been right next to that. Oh, what a group. Group. This is not good. That's one of the Shelby power cars. McLaughlin. And that's the McLaughlin car up on its roof with the right rear wheel missing. It's made huge contact with the wall. Great sportsmanship. So, the medical team on the job, we saw shots on board of Scott getting out all OK. So he's come out of the chicane and made big contact with that wall on the right-hand side. It's ripped the right rear corner out of that car. Now, let's see what happened here. On the rear, oh, that's a shocking angle. That is a nasty, nasty angle. And that has gone in very, very hard. This is a game-changer. It's the onboard. Let's look and listen. Got the left hand wall and then it's ricocheted across the road at 45 degrees and gone.
one straight into the right hand wall. And then, and then oh, oh, monstrous man. trouble here. Safety car boards and fire. Safety car boards. An extraordinary fire. incident. There are cars everywhere. Golden right in the centre of it. Courtney's backwards. Hazelwood's Flag, red flag, red flag. Red flag. There's a fire going on there at the front of the Macaulay Jones entry, and this is extremely bad news for Brad Jones, who's already had a cost. Oh, and they need to get that out in a hurry. He's going to press the onboard fire extinguisher system. Here we go. Now, James Golding has actually grabbed a fire extinguisher from the local officials. So is Brock Feeney. Well done. The level of cooperation there, sportsmanship between those competitors. Well done, Nick Perkett. James Golding, Brock Feeney. Does this unpack what's going on here? Oh, yes, horrible moment then for James Golding. And then all this lot have got nowhere to go. They have literally arrived in the middle of a gigantic accident. So it starts with James Golding tripping over right here, gets it crossed up, launches across the top of the curb, lucky not to roll it, and that has had the effect of tripping over Randall, and then the rest of them are all doing 150 kilometres an hour, and they drive smack bang into the middle of a gigantic mess. I can say with a reasonable degree of confidence that all drivers are okay now. James let go of the wheel and crossed his arms there. So that was a shocker. This is the beautiful Thomas Randall's car. Side. But what's going on behind him at this stage is high-grade warfare.